back to my channel and so today I'm I have this little Mickey Mouse drawing that I did on a wood and I have some sequins and I decided I am going to glue the sequins on to make the drawing and I do have these beads that I may or may not use but they're really pretty I'm trying to show you guys how pretty it is guys and girls I know it's not just guys here and then I have some glue here that I'm going to use to glue the sequins onto the wood and then I do have this thing of Mod Podge. I used to have a small one and then I ran out. And then I got this bigger one. So that's pretty cool. And so I have this little container thingamajiggy with this um, little um, stick thing inside that I will use to um, pick up the sequins. It has some wax on the end, as you can see. So the wax is what um, sticks to the um, bead and then the glue, um, it comes off and it sticks to the glue. Also, I did um, change the color of the table, not really the color, but I just put um, paper on since that was a suggestion by Rain. I want to say Rinks, but a suggestion by Rain, thank you for that. And then I do have um, some string here that I might turn into jewelry if you if you want to see more of that. And I do also have a lot of wire that I could use to make some jewelry. So if you want to see more of that, leave that in the comments down below because I do know how to make jewelry with them because I've, I've made them before. So let's get started. So I am first going to get and figure out what color I'm going to use for this um, Mickey Mouse. Um, uh, I just blanked out. <laughs> um, I know for a fact I'm going to use black, but I don't know what color I'm going to use for the face because there is this orange type of yellowish color, peach color in there. And I don't know because there's also a white pinkish color in there that I might use as well. So I don't really know. So I will just figure out. Um, what to use when I do um, the ears and the head of Mickey and then I'll do the face. And then I also have this purple one that I will use for my name, maybe, or the background, not sure yet. But I'm first going to use the black one so I could get the head done. So I have some glue. This did take me a while to get the um, thing out of the cap. It took me like five minutes. So enjoying me struggling. So now I'm going to get this container and I'm going to pour um, the beads inside. Not the beads, the sequins. And then I will start getting um, some glue and the sequins on the board. Because I want all the sequins facing up, so like the lip is facing up, not down. Because that's what I like better. So I'm starting to apply them now. And um, I will be back when all of the black is done. Hi, my name is Nicholas. I am the brother. I am a sponsor of this video. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure seeing you. I appreciate the views and the subscribe to Bye. Um, yeah, um, that's my brother right there. I mean, he keeps thinking he is a sponsor of my videos. Um, but, it, but um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> So I started to use the end of the stick because the um, the wax was a little too big to fit and so it was just sticking on to the little, I was using the hole from the, um, the sequence and from the stick and it was, um, it stuck onto there and that's how I used to put the sequence on. 
Now this is my first time using this glue, so I have no idea if it will dry clear, but I'm hoping it is, because it looks like it actually is. So that's pretty cool. And so I got the second ear done, and this is how it looks. No idea where the wax piece went so yeah that's a little sad but now i'm doing the eyes of the mickey mouse i'll put three sequins in each eye since that's what looks like it could fit So that's how it looks so far and I decided to go with the white instead of the um, white, the yellowish color because that one looks better instead of that one, if you know what I mean. It, as you can see, it does have like a pink shift to it so, so it might look a little pink but it's okay. So now I'm applying some glue and I'm going to apply the white. And also there's not much footage of the end of me applying the background and um, the rest of the face and my name because I accidentally filmed that in slow motion. As you can see why the lights are flickering because it is in slow motion. Sorry. But this is how it looks. Yeah, that's why the lights are flickering, so I'm sorry about that because this is in slow motion. So I'm really sorry, I really do apologize. So now I'm going to do the mouth, but there isn't very much footage of it because I did cut it out because I was moving very slow because this wasn't slow motion and I did try to speed it up, but it just looked like real time and just sped up just slower. And so I did the tongue and my name, and so I'm waiting for that to dry now. And so I do have some glue sequins that I will use for the background. And so I'm going to pour it into my little container. As you, I'm moving very slow, that's because it, this, this is in slow motion but sped up five times. As you can see, they all have a little color shift into it, which is, little, which is pretty. Looks like a sparkly dress. So I'm going to move it upside down so I can do the head first, so I don't have to um, go from up to down and mess up the, the name at the bottom. So I'm just going to apply some glue and then spread it out with a paintbrush since that's what I've been doing and then I'm going to put um, the sequins on using a little wax tool slash not wax tool since the wax fell off I have no idea where it went and so yeah the brutals <laughs> oh sorry that was a word I made up I like it do you like it it's nice
And so I did the background. I'm doing a few little touch-ups to fill in the little holes in there. Um, so I could, so it doesn't look weird. Because to me, it looked bad. I just want to fill them up with some sequins. And so now I have some Mod Podge and I'm going to shake it up because the water probably separated or it probably did separate. So I'm taking off that and I'm also going to use the Mod Podge from the cap. And I got some on my hand and some on the phone. And it wasn't even on the table, it was literally on the chair. <laughs> it's a good thing it does peel off though. If you don't know what Mod Podge is, it's just white paint I'm painting over the um, Mickey Mouse so I could redecorate it because I don't like how it looks. I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mod Podge is like a sealant, a water-based sealant that I'm using. So it seals up the, the painting or the, um, the sequence. Yeah, that's what it is. It's not white paint. So don't be alarmed. So now I'm going to set that aside. Wait for this to dry. Okay, so now I wait for this to dry. I'm going to play with my Rubik's Cube. I'm actually gonna solve it, but not in a fast time like I'm trying to speed cube. I don't know how to speed cube, I just know how to solve one. But like my I don't want to see my, my, my fastest time because it's kind of embarrassing. It's like 42 seconds. I know it's em embarrassing, but yeah. So I'm just going to mix it up and I'm just going to solve it like how I normally would. I'm not going to try to speed cube or anything. So yeah, this is me solving it. So I'm just doing some inspection like I know how to solve cube. <laughs> but I don't. I do know how to solve it. I learned how to solve it in fourth grade because I had a Rubik's Cube and I wanted to solve it. And now I have lots of Rubik's Cubes that I could solve. So I'm getting the cross done. And now I'm filling in the corner pieces, which is very easy to do. And then I'm going to fill in the side pieces. I don't know if you know what the side pieces or corner pieces or edge pieces are. The side pieces or edge pieces, they're the same thing. I like to call them those. But yeah, there's, and there's also a metal piece that never moves because it's connected to an axle. You probably have no idea what I'm saying right now because you probably don't know much about Rubik's Cubes because like, I'm a weirdo and I know about random things, so yeah. And so now I'm getting all the corners in place. I do not know CFOP. No, I don't. Or what do you call it? Ro or Roku? I don't know how to say it. But I don't know that one or C method, I think is what it's called. I don't remember, but I don't know any of those speed cube methods. I just solve it like a regular person and try to get faster at it. So I'm gonna do the cross again and then fill in the corner pieces. This one I did some mistakes because I did I did mess up on where the colors went, like mixing up the orange and the red. But it's okay. And this is also not a speed cube, just regular Rubik's cube I have. Time to get the corners in the right place and time to orientate the corners in the right place. And so that's it. So now I'm just going to wait for it to dry and I'll be back tomorrow. And so this is the final product of the Mickey Mouse. I like how it came out. It could be better, but that's how it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to visit my channel 
every week because I do have a video every Saturday out. Um, maybe not at 4 p.m. anymore because that is, um, because I do have to edit on Saturdays. So maybe around like 5 or 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sorry about that. But if you guys do enjoy this video, don't forget to visit my channel every week. And I'll see you guys next time. And I guess I'm going to say bye now. So, bye. Also, have a great day. Bye.